Hey Chloe, guess what? Something awesome went down at work today. What's going on with you? You seem a bit on edge even though you're not at work anymore. Haha, <laughs> I already told you it's something amazing that went down today. Can you take a wild guess? Is it that project you've been going on and on about? Finally starting to calm down? You're always griping about how swamped you are. You're partially right. I actually wrapped up that project just recently. Feels damn good to be done with it, I tell you. But hey, that's not the only thing that happened today. There's more to the story. Well, what is it? Quit playing around and just tell me. If you're not curious, I'll just spill the beans. <laughs> the big news is, I just got promoted. Can you believe it? My boss told me that at the end of work today. He said that it's because I've been doing a great job for some time. Isn't that great? No way. Are you serious? You bet I am. And guess what? Along with the promotion, I'll be getting a sweet pay raise starting from my next paycheck. Let's plan on grabbing a bite or doing lunch together to celebrate when that payday rolls around. Sounds good? Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled for you. It's fantastic news, and honestly, no one deserves it more than you do. You're constantly putting in the hard work and dedicating so much time to that place. It's about time your efforts are being acknowledged and appreciated. Thanks a ton, Chloe. I genuinely appreciate all the support you've given me along the way. I'm truly grateful for everything you've done for me. Nah, babe, it's the result of your hard work too. You're not only killing it at your job, but you're also holding it down at home. You're an incredible husband, and I couldn't be prouder of you. Hey, no need to shower me with all that praise. You know how quickly it goes to my head, right? I mean, come on, if you keep hyping me up like that, I'll probably end up tripping over my own feet at work tomorrow. I've gotta stay on top of my game, especially with this new position and new team to impress. Oh, come on. Cut it out, will you? Just embrace the moment and enjoy the praise for once. Ha <laughs> ha gotcha. Just messing around, babe. But you know what? With all these positive things happening, it's making our conversations about having a child feel more and more real. Exciting times ahead. Having a child? Are you sure? You know, we've been doing pretty well financially with both of us working. It's got me thinking, maybe it's time we start discussing settling down. Especially because my salary is going to increase from here on out. We don't have to decide right this second. But I think we should seriously consider it in the near future. Yeah, you're right. I totally agree with you, but let's not forget that things are going to get even busier for you now. So how about we take some time to wait and see how things pan out? And hey, don't forget, I've got my own job to handle too. Let's keep that in mind as we consider our next steps. For now, let's put the future plans aside and focus on celebrating your well-deserved promotion. I couldn't be happier for you. I'm just as excited about hitting up a fancy restaurant to celebrate. Let's enjoy this moment and treat ourselves. Someone's got their stomach growling. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Get yourself ready and we'll head out as soon as I get back. See you soon. Chloe, what's with you not being home before me? I walk in and find an empty kitchen table. Seriously? I'm freaking starving here. Didn't I mention earlier that I'll be working late tonight? Come on, you know you can handle making your own food. I left some steaks in the fridge for you. Just pop one in the microwave and heat it up. It'll be ready in no time. It'll only take you like a minute. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Why on earth should I be bothered with making my own food? I've got way more important things to deal with than that. I get it. Your job has been crazy busy since your promotion. But can you at least handle that much on your own? 
it feels like you're not lending a hand, even when things are going well for you, right? Shouldn't it be obvious that we should be working as a team during times like these? Oh, please. That's all ancient history. We're in the present now, and things have changed. Did you conveniently forget about the fat paycheck I bring home after my promotion? You and I are not on the same level anymore. It's pretty audacious of you to complain to the guy who's supporting you, don't you think? Please stop talking like that. Why have you been talking like that to me lately? You were never someone who would say those kinds of things. Oh, I see. So now I'm the one acting weird, huh? Well, let me make something crystal clear here. Married couples need to sort things like that out. Plain and simple. See? That right there. That's not something you would have ever said to me before you got this promotion. Seriously? Just what the hell happened to you? Did something bad happen when you were at work? I might not be able to help, but I can, at the very least, listen to you if you just tell me what's going on. No, it is not like that. Let me break it down for you. It would be totally unfair for me to lift a finger around the house when I'm the one bringing in the big bucks. Up until now, our wages were somewhat similar. But that's not the case anymore. So as I've said before, it's about time you recognize your place in this marriage. Which is clearly beneath me. I expect you to be at home, taking care of all the housework. That's your job now. No one is higher or lower than the other when it comes to a marriage. It shouldn't matter which one of us is making most of the money. It's definitely been a lot of help to us that your wage has increased, but life isn't just about making money, right? I think that there are a variety of other things that are also important. Oh, how convenient for you to play the money card. Until you start making more money than me, you've got no grounds to say anything. When it comes to the one who brings in the big bucks, your complaints don't mean squat. So if you're not making much money, you better keep that trap shut and listen to what I have to say. There it is again. Stop hanging that over my head. Just because you make more money doesn't give you the right to think like that. Didn't we get this far by helping each other out? We got this far together. It would have never worked if one person kept puffing out their chest and treating the other like you're treating me. That's why I said I was mistaken up until now. It's about damn time you woke up and realized our current situation. Isn't it crystal clear that the husband who brings in more money is always the most important in our relationship? That's how it works in my workplace. And all my friends think the same way too. I was gracious enough to correct myself, given my previous mistaken beliefs. So, if you have any sense left in that head of yours, you better refrain from acting against me from now on. Got it? Fine. It's pretty obvious you aren't going to change the way you think. Isn't that right? You've made up your mind about how I'm below you. Well, no surprises there. Of course, I won't change my mind. And that means this is how it's going to be from now on. Whether you like it or not. So you better get used to doing all the work and obeying whatever brilliant ideas I come up with. It's your new reality, so deal with it. I see. So your mind is set in stone then? You can't be that stupid. I literally just said that. Anyway, I'll let you off the hook for today. So just make sure you don't let it happen again. I'll keep in mind to do just that. Don't forget what you said either. Hey! How many times do I have to repeat myself? Didn't I clearly tell you that if you're going to work overtime, you should prepare some food in the morning before you leave? So why the hell is there nothing here right now? Can't you follow a simple instruction? I've got something to tell you before we talk about that. Is that alright? It's really important to me, and I think you'll find this in particular to be very interesting. Wow. I couldn't care less about what you think is important to tell me. If you have the audacity to waste your time talking about such trivial matters, then quit dilly-dallying and get you your sorry ass over here to make some damn food. 
It's not like your precious overtime job is that difficult, is it? I mean, let's be honest. You make less money than me, so it shouldn't be too much to ask. <laughs> yeah, about that. Didn't you say that the one who's making more money is more important? Do you still think that? Ah, finally, you're catching on. It's crystal clear that the one who makes more money is far more important. So, naturally, you should just shut up and do exactly what I say without questioning me. It's about time you grasped your place in this relationship. I'm so glad to hear that. So, I wasn't mistaken about that then. What the hell have you been blabbering about all this time? Seriously, you need to quit spewing nonsensical crap. It's starting to make my skin crawl, and not in a good way. <laughs> You're really freaking me out with your absurdity. Well then, go to the store and get some groceries for me. I'll also leave all the housework to you. See you later. Oh, I'm sorry? Do I need to dumb it down for you? How many times do I have to repeat myself? You are the one who takes orders from me, not the other way around. Money equals power, and you, my dear, have neither. Are you so brainless that you can't even comprehend such a basic concept? Isn't that why I'm ordering you? Why don't you think about it for a few seconds and try to understand? Or are you just an idiot? I can't believe you actually think you can talk to me like this. Maybe if you put half the effort in your pathetic job as you do into running your mouth, you wouldn't be making such a measly income. Don't you dare push me. I'm generous enough to support you right now. But just know that I can easily make that disappear in an instant. Okay, then you don't have to support me anymore. Since I'm making much more money than you are, but if you choose to be a good little boy and listen to what I tell you, then maybe I'll support you. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't even think for a second that you can get away with lying about having a higher salary than me. Only a complete moronic imbecile would be dumb enough to lie about something that can be easily proven. Nice try, genius. If you think I'm lying that badly, why don't you go take a look at the last deposit into my account? Go ahead. You know the password to the bank app. Are you sure you want me to do that? I'm going to laugh so hard if there's like two dollars in it. I'm going to go look at it right now and expose you. <laughs> so did you see it? You were able to log in, right? So what do you think about my earnings? Are you screwing around me right now? How the hell is it even possible for you to be making this much? It's beyond comprehension. Do you finally understand it now? I'm making so much more than you, so don't you dare try to oppose me. And in addition to that, stop making a fuss about everything around the house, including not having any food to eat. Oh, save me the irrelevant crap. None of that matters at this moment. What I want to know is how the hell you managed to make this much money. What shady tactics did you pull off to rake in such a fortune? There isn't much to it, really. I just happened to get a promotion just like you did. Not to mention, my bonuses are going to be insane from now on. A promotion? How come I never heard about this? It's been in talks for a while, and my boss finally offered it to me. I had the stuff at the house, and not to mention, wasn't there also the possibility that we could have had a child? Those are the reasons on why I refused to take it initially. It would be a lot of extra responsibility in working hours. So then, why did you suddenly want to accept it? Well, like you eloquently put it, money equals power, right? So if I made more money than you, then you would have to listen to me, right? I was pretty sick of you barking orders at me. Now it's my turn to be queen. Oh, hold your horses there. You can't seriously be trying to dump all the housework on me, can you? I still have a job, you know. As it stands, I don't have the time or energy to deal with any of this stuff. So find someone else to do your bidding. I was always doing it before, so it's not like you can't do it either, right? Are you going to oppose me? Even though I'm the one making more money than you? After all, 
weren't you the one who originally said all of that? Well, it's not very reasonable if you think about it realistically. Since I get tired due to being so overworked at my job, I don't have the mental energy to get all of these chores done by myself. Don't you think that I get tired as well, though? But even then, you may mean do all the work anyway, right? I never got any breaks or encouragement from you. So wouldn't you say that you are the one who doesn't have any right to complain? I'm the one giving orders, so you should just shut your mouth and listen. Hey, Adrian! Why did you leave the house without doing any of the chores? Also, how come you didn't get any of the food ready before you left? Care to explain yourself? Oh, give me a goddamn break already. Didn't I tell you that I couldn't since I had to do some extra stuff after work with my colleagues? I had to stay over time for a last second meeting. I can't do any chores like this. Why not? Do you think it's a good idea to oppose me? I'm the one who's bringing in more money. Like you said, that makes me the boss. I told you before that this is unreasonable. Just think about me for a second. But weren't you not listening to me when you were the one making more money? You were so drunk with imaginary power from the rules you arbitrarily made for us. And yet, when you're on the receiving end, you're so quick to start whining. You really are pathetic, you know that? But it wasn't like this, right? I think I may have had a change of heart. I take back what I said. Money isn't everything, right? I admit I was wrong. Let's go back to the way things used to be. Didn't you say that's what you wanted? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No can do. It hasn't even been that long since I've been on the throne. You've barely had anything to do, and you've only just started. I had to endure your power trip for over a year. It's been just a week for you so far. That's why I said I was sorry. Let us put our relationship back on equal footing again. Let's split up the chores like we used to do back in the old days. Wouldn't that be better for the two of us? Why do I have to listen to you? Am I not more important than you since I make more money? I don't think you're qualified to complain to me. Just listen to me for a second. This past week, I began to understand what you went through as I did all of the housework even while having to go to work. How you have worked so hard until now for me and to keep the house clean. So let's stop doing this already. I realize now that I was in the wrong. I'm so sorry for everything that I put you through. I'm begging you. Please, go back to the old Chloe that I loved who was kind-hearted. So what if I was kind-hearted before? The one who pushed me to do this was none other than you, right? This is what you chose, so get over it already. We talk about wanting a child, right? But what happened if you acted the way you do now all of the time? Wouldn't you be hated by our future child? That's not what you want to have happen, right? Don't bring the child into this conversation, especially after all you've done. You look down on other people when you have the upper hand. But when you are at a disadvantage, you do nothing but complain right away. I don't need to have a child with a person like that. You will be listening to whatever the hell I say from this point onward. I can't do this anymore. Please, just divorce me already. I can't be with you anymore. Wouldn't that be the best for you as well? What are you talking about? Why on earth would I want to divorce you? This is the best time of my life. Wait, what? But don't you hate me? Isn't that the reason why you were doing this to me? Isn't that obvious? I've lost all my love for you after you did this to me. You've been nothing but cruel and abusive towards me for a long time. Ever since you got that promotion, you've let the success get to your head. I hate you so much for everything you put me through. So then, shouldn't we just divorce instead? Then you wouldn't have to deal with me ever again. Why won't you divorce me? Did I not just tell you the reason just a few minutes ago? I've had to endure a whole year of what you put me through. You made me do everything around the house all by myself without any breaks. I have to do all the chores every day, like cleaning up after you and having to organize all your files after you lay it all over the desk. 
I had to cook for you on top of that, including having to constantly run to the store to get the ingredients for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it wouldn't be fair if I didn't put you through a whole year as well. That's sadistic. You know that, right? I'm begging you. Please, just divorce me. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry already. By the way, I had a quick chat with your mom recently. She's so unhappy with how you've been treating our marriage like a joke. Sound like she's totally on my side here. It's no use. You were talking about this with my mom? Our marriage is none of her business. How will I be able to face her now? It's all right now. You don't have to worry about the money anymore or having to work so hard at your own job because I'm just going to put you through all the pain that you put me through in one year. So make sure to listen to what I have to say for this whole year. <laughs> After that, I continued to push my husband beyond his limits until the day we decided to get a divorce. Initially, I had mentioned that we would wait a year before filing for divorce, but my husband couldn't handle it. He sincerely apologized to me, and it seemed like he had come to terms with what had transpired. I accepted his apology formally when the divorce was finalized. It seemed like he finally woke up to the emotional abuse he had subjected me to and realized just how terrible his mindset had been. Perhaps when we switched roles, he started understanding the pain I had endured due to his awful treatment. I'm not sure what happened to Adrian after our divorce, but I like to think that he became a better person. As for me, I no longer cared about the harm my outrageous husband had inflicted upon me. Finding purpose in my life, I dedicated myself to my job and I was rewarded with a promotion to my current position. The hard work paid off, as I built a strong reputation at work, which led to my selection as the leader of a new project. This timing coincided with the closure of my revenge against Adrian, bringing me a sense of relief. From this point onward, I can live a liberated life without any ties to Adrian, and I hope that someday I can find a better man who will be with me for the rest of my life.